Wednesday on the show. I am here to review a movie for you that is absolutely fantastic. It's called The Magdalene Sisters. It's from 2002. Um, it is, and here's a nice, nice little surprise, it is actually on YouTube. Someone uploaded it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to either try to link you at the bottom of this or you can go to my actual page because I'm going to have a playlist of it so you can just watch it. It's a great film. It is one of those films that I think about. It's one of those films that I've watched more than once because I really like it. The characters are just amazing to the point where you're like, I wish I knew this character. Like, I'm afraid of this character, but I'm also sad for the character. Uh, anyway, the whole, uh, the whole gist of the movie is these women in very devout Catholic Ireland, uh, some of them get raped, and instead of you know, shunning the, the rapist, they shun the, the woman that is attacked, and it shames the family, so they send them to these asylums that were set up. And this is true stuff that actually did happen in Ireland. And uh, other women have a baby out of wedlock. The family is so shamed by this that they, don't, they can't even speak, they can't even look at their own children. Uh, it follows a couple different lives. There's one where it's even like women that were too pretty or that were, you know, you know, like flirty. They just said, oh, they're up to no good. They're, they're temptresses. And again, we're sent to these asylums uh, where they were made to do hard labor. And these were run by uh, the Catholic nuns who I've never met a scarier group of nuns on film. <laughs> I mean, I've seen a lot of movies with nuns because I love that kind of stuff. I love the whole everything about it, you know, and devoting your entire life to just that, you know. And there's there's a real sadist by the name of Sister Bridget. And when she is upset, she beats these girls verbally. She she doesn't even call them by their names. She calls them, what do you what did you say, girl? That's so demeaning, like, where you're not even a person. It's dehumanizing is what it is. So these women, after getting there, and, and one girl even saying, I didn't do anything. I didn't have... I'm a virgin. I don't even know why I'm here. Well, she's too pretty and flirtatious. And the nun calls her out for that, and she's just like, you know, what? I'm just a lady, man. Uh, it's it's just a great film. I, the, the characters are just so well-developed. You really feel for them. Um... Uh, there's one that all I'm going to say is Crispina. Who is just crazy well actress to the point where I actually went on Netflix and queued up some stuff that, I'm, that she's in that I want to see. She was nominated for Best Actress for this. Didn't win it, I guess. I say sometimes the nominations are just as good. I mean, you get the yeah. Anyway, so what I want you to do is I want you to, when you find a free second, watch this movie. Tell me what you think about Crispina because there are parts where, where she's just screaming and the stuff that she says and the I, I don't I don't know this actress is just amazing. The actress that plays her is Eileen Walsh, maybe well known in Europe and whatnot, but here in the states doesn't really have a lot of roles that I know of. And uh, what else can I say about this movie? It's just great. It, it really is a film that I think everybody can enjoy. It's the, the craziness of being in this convent asylum where they're forced to do laundry and just sweat their life out. It, it's just crazy. It's just absolutely mad how this, that, that this is a true thing that happened. There's a part where I'm trying to read, the, one of the women that had actually been there said that it was not even portrayed in the movie as scary and how horrible it was to work in these, these uh, laundry where the religion was allowed to have all this money for this hard labor of these women who were trying to wash their sins away, who were just so bone tired, weary from a day of doing this over and over again, not allowed to talk to each other. You know, not given the simpler things in life even to enjoy, uh, you know, uh, just cue it up, watch it, it's amazing, it's, it's a great movie and I think you're going to really, really enjoy it. It's probably in my top 10 favorite movies ever.